Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris here, here with the review of Justice League No Justice number dos. Wait, is that right? Uno. Yeah, dos. Two. Me. Insert, I don't know, German way of saying two. <laughs> uh, but I've been liking No Justice, definitely. Like, sucker for anything DC puts out, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, sucker for Snyder's work, Tinian's work, Williamson, Manipal, 2, and Hi-Fi. Hiffy? I don't know. But anyway, we continue off, and look, it's the person who kind of ruined everything for everyone, and she's confronted by Green Arrow. But, back on where the hell the Justice League is, uh, Kolu, they're all trying to sort out what the hell is going on. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just taking a drink. Having a drink, taking a drink, having a drink, sorry. English, not working. <laughs> but, they're all trying to get a grasp of what Brainiac's plan is, and they finally accept it, and they get Luther of all people, <laughs> Lex Luther of all people, to <laughs> rally the team into their respective Justice Leagues. And mm, I feel like this could have come at it later because because uh, uh, Green Arrow, Green Arrow Annual have it has a tie-in to No Justice, but it doesn't come out to the to the end of this month, which they usually do for annual. So it's just like, see Green Arrow Annual number two. It's like. It's not out yet. Usually, usually when you do this, it means the issue is already out. So it's referring to a pre, referring to an issue that also came out in the same week or the week before. But anyway, but as usual, Waller gets to come up in some, <laughs> someone. And turns out when Brainiac kidnapped kidnapped everyone else to form his own Justice League cosplayers, <laughs> he's caught. His uh, his head cannon teams. Uh, he froze everyone else, uh, leaving Green Arrow as the only hero left. Also, Supergirl. If you've read DC Nation, yeah, Supergirl as well. But I'm guessing there's going to be something explaining that. But all four of the teams split up to essentially their plan is to restart these various trees that will stop these. Stop the Omega Titans from destroying Kolu and, by extension, killing everyone else. And as usual, it's not working. So you have to get Martian Manhunter has to rally everyone together. You know, he's supposed to be the heart and soul of the Justice League. If I remember correctly, I think it was like I think it was in Blackest Night, like uh, when they referred to like how he died. Uh, he's referred to as the heart and soul of the Justice League. So it's very fitting that he's the one that kind of rallies them together, gives them kind of the war cry, get them to do the job, of course. And I do like the kind of the interaction between Beast Boy and Lobo because even Beast Boy, like Beast, Beast Boy just seems like the weird kind of a, like, just by instinct, he just seems like the the odd one out of this group. You've got a group of vi villains, mercenaries, and Batman. <laughs> but, uh, he realizes he's there because he is, <laughs> he's supposed to be wild. It's team entropy. It's supposed to be kind of like the decay, natural death of everything, destruction. So, he's a beast. He has to unlock that inner beast to help. And not gonna go in there, but it turns out when Brainiac died, their initial plans to do everything messed up. <laughs> and basically, we'll leave that to issue number three. Uh, like I said, I've definitely been enjoying No Justice. Is it the greatest thing in existence? Probably not. Probably not. It's just, it's just kind of a simple, small, four issue event a event 
more like crossover, I would say. Because, I know, if this was a vent, I'd... I don't know, DC doesn't really do it a lot, but if this was a Marvel thing, and it was an event, you'd expect every one of their titles to be a tie-in, because pff, why not? And usually they have nothing to do with the story, the main story itself. But anyway, I digress. Definitely been enjoying it, definitely like it, and that's it for this review. Uh, although one thing that I do, sometimes I like Manipul's artwork on these covers uh, they're all right but i don't know if you've seen his cover for trinity when he did like uh he had a his own series for rebirth uh called trinity you no know, focusing on batman superman wonder woman uh have you seen seen the cover he did with them of those three and then like three of their respective villains like kind of their reflections on wonder woman's sword are just like oh my god that's a great cover and then i see this i'm just like it could have been a bit better, but I think it's kind of restricted to the the setting theme of the story. But I've been enjoying it anyway. So that's it for the review. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, share the videos. Greatly appreciate any of those. And I'll see you all next time.